The Adirondacks are an amazing place to go canoeing and kayaking. There are tons of small lakes and rivers connected by little creeks or relatively short portages. Portages are trails through the woods that you would carry your canoe over to get from one lake to another. We hadn't gone to the Adirondacks in many years, but we want to go a lot more often. So this spring we started looking for a lightweight canoe that was stable enough to take our dog and some gear in case we wanted to go camping overnight. Because there are tons of places out on these lakes where you can actually set up a camp and be all by yourself on a beautiful lake camping out overnight. It's just amazing. We had previously purchased two Swift kayaks from Mountain Man Outdoor Supply Company at an outdoor gear show in Glens Falls, New York. And we got a great price on them and we have been extremely happy with those boats. So I contacted Mountain Man Outdoors via email to find out if they had any boats suitable for what we wanted to do. And a guy named Will Crimmins wrote me back and recommended the Winona Minnesota 2 for camping with a dog and he said it's what he uses when he goes camping with his golden retriever. So we went up to Old Forge, New York and they had not one, not two, but three Minnesota 2s, which is amazing, in Kevlar and one in graphite. We ended up choosing a leftover Kevlar one, which was on sale for a really great price. By the way, I'm not being paid by Mountain Man Outdoors for this video. I'm just giving them props because they have just a fantastic selection of boats. It's just insane how many boats they have. Look at these pictures. And what's equally as good is you can actually try the boats out in the Moose River behind the store before you buy one, which in my opinion is huge. So based on Will's recommendation, we, act, we ended up buying the Winona, Minnesota too. We didn't need paddles because we still have our graphite paddles from many, many years ago. Graphite paddles are expensive, but they will last for years. And if you're getting a paddle, I highly recommend it. I recommend graphite paddles because they'll last for years, if not a lifetime. The Minnesota 2 weighs 42 pounds, which is really nice when you're portaging to have such a light boat. It even has a portage yoke so you can carry it alone which in some ways is easier than carrying it by the handles. But we ended up alternating. Sometimes I'd carry it on my shoulders, sometimes we'd carry it together. The boat is 18 feet 6 inches long, which seems to be like the magic number for fast, efficient paddling while still retaining enough maneuverability to get through tight places. The front seat slides and the rear seat has a really nice infinitely adjustable foot brace, so you can balance the boat to some degree based on your paddle or weight. I was nervous about our dog tipping us over, but she's been a lot better than I expected. However, your dog could be a different story. Ours stands and sits and shifts positions pretty regularly, depending on what interests her, which is actually kind of helpful because if she's sitting off center, at least she's not sitting off center for very long. To encourage her to sit in the middle of the boat, what we did was I got an old camping mat and put it in the bottom of the boat and was hoping she would kind of want to be on the soft mat rather than the slippery sides. The mat filled up with water somewhat somewhat the first time we used it, so the second time I drilled holes in it all over the place. We also found that it would slip when she jumped out of the boat, so we ended up using Velcro to Velcro it to the bottom of the boat, which didn't work out terribly well because some of the Velcro um, loosened up and came off the bottom of the boat. So. But it worked pretty well as far as keeping her centered, keeping her dry, and giving her a soft place to sit. Also, if she moves abruptly or moves way over to the very edge of the boat, the boat is pretty stable. Not, you know, like a real, real, real wide canoe would be, but very, pretty stable. And we never felt like we were going to tip over. You know, we felt like we tipped quite a bit, but we never felt like we were going to tip over. I really like the tractor style seats. I find them very comfortable. My wife wanted a seat cushion because she found the seats quite hard. So we bought two Winona seat cover cushions and she loves hers, but I find it quite uncomfortable, surprisingly. So she uses a cushion, I do not use a cushion. Another thing, we bought a canoe cover to protect the Kevlar from the sun. The sun will fade your Kevlar or darken your Kevlar, kind of give it a suntan, and eventually it will really start to 
do a number on your, your canoe over time. There's a woman named Sue Audette from Manchester, Connecticut, I believe. Her website is www.waterworkscanoe.com. She makes these canoe covers that are amazing. They are very easy to install. She recommended the WeatherMax material, which is a little more expensive, but it's really nice because it's waterproof and doesn't get all soggy, and it's also more durable. One thing I forgot to mention is we got a Roughwear K9 life jacket. It fits a little loose. We got a size large based on the dog's weight, but it's a little bit loose. I wish it were tighter. I kind of worry if we were to tip over in a river or something and be floating downstream, she could get caught on a stick or something. But out in the middle of a lake, if we were to tip over and have a long way to go to shore, it probably is a good thing to have on. So that's about it. My next several videos I hope to make will be on day trips we did this summer up in the Adirondacks, which I highly recommend. They're just fantastic trips to do. You can even do them as an overnighter, as most of the lakes have camping out on islands or along the shoreline. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you out on the water. Aspen, no. I'm more interested in digging a hole. Aspen. Aspen, come. Leave it. Leave it. Aspen. Leave it. As you can see how interested the dog is in getting in the boat. Aspen. Let's go. Canoeing is right on the top of her to-do list this morning. Aspen, come.